Okay, so um, so that's what classical mechanics says would happen. If the particle has enough energy, it'll pass the barrier. It'll keep moving to the right, but just with reduced speed because now um, now uh, its total mechanical energy uh, uh, contains a potential energy term, and so the the kinetic energy is going to be reduced. Um, and if it doesn't have enough energy, it'll basically be reflected. Okay, that's what classical mechanics says. In the quantum mechanics, quantum mechanics, if we treat this problem quantum mechanically, then we have to use the Schrodinger equation, okay? We have to solve the Schrodinger equation in the different regions. That is, in this case, um, x less than zero and x greater than zero. And then we have to um, uh, use basically continuity equations, that is, the boundary condition, the boundary conditions at x equals zero, to um, to uh, um, uh, find a, a particular solution. Okay, so let's let's do that. All right. So when when uh, let's start with the case when x is less than zero. Then we have the um, if we write we can write the Schrodinger equation in the form uh, d squared psi by dx squared is equal to minus uh, k1 squared psi, okay, where uh, where uh, k1 is equal to uh, the square root of 2 m e over h bar, and this just sort of um, uh, again, so h bar k is the is the momentum, and which is equal to p uh, and the p squared over 2m, h bar squared k squared over 2m is equal to the uh, kinetic energy. And so since the potential energy is equal to zero, when x is equal, when x is less than zero, then that's what we, then that's what we have, okay? And so uh, basically um, the, uh, the solutions are um, familiar, but now we're going to write them in, um, in complex form. So we get, we're going to get oscillatory solutions because k1 is positive, um, and then we have this negative sign. So remember, the general solutions uh, will be uh, oscillatory ones, and so we're going to write this as um, a e to the i k x plus b e to the minus i k x. Now, um, since since e to the i k x is equal to cosine kx plus i sine kx. You know, we could just as easily sort of proceed using sines and cosines. Well, it actually turns out to be not as easy. So we're going to we're going to continue with the with these uh, 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 the complex exponentials form. Uh, but it's important to realize that basically these uh, e to the i k x, e to the minus i k x, these are correspond to plane waves. And as we'll see, e to the i k x in the way that we're writing this corresponds to a right moving plane wave and e to the minus i k x corresponds to a left moving plane wave and we'll see that in just a second. Okay, so for x is, for x is, um, uh, for x is less than zero, okay, we get d squared psi by dx squared is equal to minus k2 squared psi, okay, and and again, so here uh, k2 is equal to now square root of 2m times e minus u naught uh, divided by h bar. So now we have the potential height, the step height u naught uh, comes into this, uh, comes into this uh, wave number k2 okay so uh, this gives us solutions uh, okay general solutions uh, equal the same form e uh, but c times e to the i k this should be a k1 k1 this should be a k2 x plus d e to the minus a i k 2 x.